that has a phenomenal movie attached to it, and I gotta kick things off. Let's talk about some Russell Case. Let's talk about some Independence Day, because I Happy think Fourth of July. Come on, y'all. This is what it's all about. This is a day. That's what I'm talking about. All live in this great country, and come on now. We need to celebrate it every day. Come on, yep. that's what I'm talking about. Now, there's some people that would say, oh, Will Smith's the hero, Jeff Goldblum's the hero. No, we know that you are the true hero of this Woo! movie. Woo! 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 So I gotta know, what was it like to join this amazing cast for one of the coolest like, sci-fi disaster films of the 90s? Uh, well, I, I, I got the role, you know, just basically with a phone call. Wow! He called me and said, uh, you wanna do this movie? I read the script. And, no, was pretty much it. Um, and I didn't really realize um, when, I, when I accepted the role how this, this character would, would uh, impact the movie. Uh, I, I know he, at the end he flies the, oh well, is this a, a spoiler alert? <laughs> it's, 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 it's a really old movie. I can we talk really? Uh, <laughs> But you know he does that thing at the end with the with his uh, fighter jet, right? And um, I was really uh, completely uh, taken aback by how people responded to my character. Um, he starts out being this—he's uh, this crop duster. He's really irresponsible kind of guy. He's got some kids. Mm -hmm. He's not really paying attention to, he's really had this experience with these uh, aliens. That's right, aliens, that's right. Um, you know, taken up and probed. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of things happened up there. That, unfortunately, they didn't show that in the movie. It's like a deleted scene, because that's what I needed to go back to. <laughs> but, uh, so he has, this, uh, he has this problem, you know, socially connecting uh, with his uh, community. Mm -hmm. And then this event happens with these aliens, uh, and it gives this character a chance to really shine. Absolutely. You know, and to, uh, it gives him an opportunity to show what he's really made of. Mm -hmm. And uh, so I like that transition. I really like that transition with that character, it really. It really um, gave me something as an actor to, to, to work with, and uh, uh, it's, it's, I think it's like, it could be the best, or one of the best roles. No, no, say it, it, it's, it's definitely one of the best. Yeah, really. Definitely one of the best. Make some more ways for us to play. Now, how much, like, were you, uh, you ever been in a fighter pilot like cockpit before this? Like, cause I mean, you looked comfortable. I believe that you were a pilot. I still believe you're a pilot to this day, actually. That that's how good you were. This had you ever done anything like that before? Uh, no, I've never. i never flown a fighter jet or any any of that. Um, we have, we originally shot that movie. Shot the movie with me in the crop duster. Okay. And uh, I fly up into the thing, and you know, in the crop duster. But nobody, they screened it you know, at one of these screenings they had to test audiences. And the, the test audiences, they fill out these uh, questionnaires and things, and they didn't believe the crop duster would outrun <laughs> these fighter jets. Which I don't understand. I, I, I was perfectly fine with it. <laughs> <laughs> it was, City wide spaceships. It was poetic. <laughs> 
But, uh, uh, so they, these test things came back and uh, the, then they said, oh no, we gotta, we gotta reshoot it and put him in a cockpit of a, put him in a fighter jet. So they built this uh, replica of, a, of, of the cockpit and uh, put it on this gyro uh, device that could move it around. Mm -hmm. and, and uh, so that's what I was that was that fun or scary to write it? Well, no, that was nothing scary about okay. it. It right. was, so it, was I cried. it was a lot of fun uh, to to do it, and I'm glad they did. I think the change works works well for the movie, and it makes it more believable. Of course, at the end. So you don't want the audience to go on out out of the theater going, oh, I don't ah, know, the crop I duster. I didn't believe in that, <laughs> but. Uh, so, it, so it worked out. I love it. I love it. I'm sure like that movie is streaming all day today. So I hope you get like mad residual checks from that just from today alone. Yeah, just from today alone. Yeah. yeah. I think I'm going to talk at one of the screen or introduce it. Yeah. And I think, yeah. That would be fantastic. Okay. All right. I know what I'm doing later. Work on the screen. So I think yeah. seeing some of the hats in this room, I think we have to talk about Cousin Eddie. Yeah. <laughs> comes to family, I mean, Cousin Eddie, we all have Cousin Eddie, right? We all got a, that Cousin Eddie. But <laughs> listen, if you know your Cousin Eddie, that's even better. Um, <laughs> if you're wondering who Cousin Eddie is. <laughs> um, but to have this role that could have just been like a quick character showcase, but is like a such, such an integral part of the National Lampoon family, how does that feel to see a role grow like that? For you, um, yeah, that's another one of those roles. It just like takes off as a kind of phenomenon. I mean, I I came to the Vacation franchise, the first movie. Uh, I wasn't in the European one, which I kind of missed because I thought Cousin Eddie would be really, oh, you could really do some have some fun with him in Europe. But. Eddie in Europe. <laughs> uh, Let's do the movie now. Our song appreciate that. <laughs> But the uh, the first movie was just a you know like another gig basically. Um, but I hadn't been doing comedies, you know. I've, I've been doing a lot of uh, dramas. Mm -hmm. and I I wanted to do a comedy. That kind of started out doing you know comedy things, stand up, and had a comedy partner for a while and stuff. But uh, so this part came along, and I thought, oh, that's that's a fun character. And, uh, did the movie and um, it, it uh, kind of it didn't. It, but like I said, I wasn't in the European vacation, right? But the Christmas vacation. Oh yes. Uh, the character came back and uh, it really gave uh, the audience an opportunity to see you know more of him and the relationship between him and Clark uh, solidified. And uh, so it was. Uh, it was a lot of fun. It's a lot, a lot of fun to play these characters that are just so, you know, politically incorrect. <laughs> and and uh, back then too, it was uh, you know it was it was really a lot of fun to be an actor because you didn't really have to worry about all the, you know, the the woke stuff. There was no trouble. There was no trouble. Yeah. But it it was um, it, it's um, I, I'm just so uh, touched, really, by. Uh, the responses I get, I and mean, I get a whole wide spectrum of people. Oh, it's you know they love it. It goes from generation to generation, mm -hmm. and then I have people come up and say, "Oh, my my uh, father or my brother just passed, and uh, you know he loved you, he loved that movie, and and, uh, and, and people start you know getting emotional about it, and." Uh, it really is, a, it has a profound effect to uh, the reactions that, that people have, have for, your, for, for what I do. I mean, it's a, it takes me aback. I think it, it speaks to the earnestness of what you brought to us. Like, you, you brought a character that we all could kind of identify and love in spite of himself. And I think that's, that's the best part of Cousin Eddie. Like, his heart is always in the right place. No matter what happens, he's always trying to do something good for the family. And I think that that brings out you all the time. Yeah, uh, that's and that's 
a good point, Victor, about about him because it is his heart. You know, it's certainly not his brain. <laughs> <laughs> His, his, uh, he sees what is needed. Right. Or what, like, in that scene in uh, Christmas Vacation, he sees that Clark is being, uh, you know, hosed by his boss, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And uh, he deserves better. And so he knows that, you know, Clark is probably not going to want to jeopardize his job, but, right. but he goes and and he takes it upon himself to go and like solve the problem. That's right. Or so, so I mean, I, that's what I like about him. He's my favorite. He will. He's he's outrageous, but he doesn't know he's being that way. Absolutely. Very definition of ride or die. Yeah. Now, cousin Eddie has worn a number of costumes over all the films. Do you have a favorite? Um. Yeah, I like I like the Dicky. Yeah. Yeah. Did you go? Uh, you know that that was uh, right there. Yeah, and that was my wife's uh, idea. Really? Yeah. The bathrobe. Yeah, she uh, she put the. I think they got the white sweater to make it show through. I think she wanted to put me in a, in a like a jumpsuit or something. Right. But I, that that the the sweater was great. That the costumer came up with that. And, but but my wife said, that, yeah, wear this dick. You know, because when she went where she went to school in Vermont, there were all these. A lot of people wore dickies. <laughs> so it was, uh, it, uh, it was, it, that was a, a, a good, uh, good character. I love it. Absolutely. Good for the character. Some costumes, you put them on right away, and it's like, oh, it feels like this is the character. You know, you, you don't know it until you, like, you try on the clothes, right. maybe, but you get uh, immediately, as, as an actor, you, you say, oh, this feels right. You know, so. What about the hat? Now, that hat, that's iconic. Mm -hmm. I don't think anyone yeah. else, like, if you just were walking down the street, like, like anyone else, like, oh, no, it's a hat. You're like, no, that's yeah. cousin Eddie. Yeah. <laughs> How does the hat come into play? Whose idea was that? Uh, I think that was the, the costumer on that one. Okay. Yeah. All right. All right. I'll let, I tend to let the uh, the professionals handle a lot of stuff. <laughs> and I would say, it's amazing how a good costumer they really help you uh, understand your character. Mm -hmm. You know, I'll, I'll go into a costume thing, and uh, they'll be like, well, I've had like 40 suits, you know, or this and that, but they have different clothes, different sets. Now, for this scene, you know, we were thinking about this. You, you should wear something like this. And because he's, a, he's, he's this kind of way when he's in a crowd, so you want him to like stand out. Of course. Um, or whatever it is, but it's they, they really give you a lot of valuable uh, insight. And, and so, if you don't want to, if you want to get lazy about it and just not study, you just ask the costume <laughs> makeup person, what, what do I look like? Tell me what I am right now. How should I play this? Uh, you no, know, it's it's um, kind of, especially shoes. You know, shoes are like really important for a character because. They define how you stand, your posture, you know, if you're wearing boots, you stand one way, if you're wearing uh, loafers or, uh, you know, moccasins or something, you sell it a different way. Um, so shoes really, like, give you the foundation, because that's what connects you to the, to the ground, and that gives you the, the foundation. So uh, shoes really are help, very helpful, the right pair of shoes. I love that. Do you have a specific favorite of the Family Vacation movies? Of the what movie? Of the National Lampoon movies. Like, do you have a favorite one? Uh, well, I, I like all of them. I, I, you know, I like moments from all of them. You're fair. Like, uh, I like the whole thing with Christmas Vacation. I just thought that was a, like, I mean, a, as a movie, movie, it's just well made. <laughs> you know, it's, all the actors are top notch. Of course. And they run the gamut from all, the whole spectrum from um, another Hollywood long ago to the to the present Hollywood back in that the time that movie was made so uh, that's that I really like that but like why you take Vegas vacation I like the scene I have with Wayne Newton and the, <laughs> and the, and the scenes that Clark and I have together at the casino and the, when we go out on the on the town with that and it was uh, there's just uh, 
it's just an, the whole experience with vacation was was um, was really nice, right. except except for the island vacation. Well, <laughs> well, <laughs> but I exactly. uh, I I really love uh, being part of it. I love it. I love it. Now I'm kind of going want to go off script just a little bit, if you don't mind. I was watching TV the other day, and the movie Hard Rain came on. And it's one of those few times that you're like a bad guy as the sheriff. And I don't often see you play a bad guy role. How, how much fun was that? Um, that was, I don't know, that was, it's not fun. Well, it is kind of fun. That movie wasn't very much <laughs> to make. Fair, fair. Because we were in a big uh, airplane hangar out in the desert in Lancaster, California. And... Um, they built a whole town in this That's incredible in this um, airplane hangar, right. and all the water—it's all. Uh, I don't know if you, you know how many if you've seen the movie, but it's all about a big flood that comes as hard rain comes and floods the town. So we're in these uh, boats, right? these uh, large boats, rather large. Yeah, yeah, uh, big motor boats. Or uh, like sheriff boats mm -hmm. and things, and I play the sheriff of the town, and I'm uh, this, this corrupt guy. Well, I mean. Uh, not, not a very nice character. Not, not really, but that's, that's the thing for you. Like, it's, yeah. it was so, like, not the norm that I was so very proud. Like, I believe that you are, a, like, a hardcore evil guy right now. Like, this was, it was really good. Well, thank you. You're very good. <laughs> <laughs> I guess. No, because yeah, no, that's what you want to do. I want people to believe in my character, right? So that was playing like, a bad guy. It was, it, was perfect. it was perfect. You were like pithy and you were mean, and I was like, right. That's not the Randy I know. Like, what is this? This is amazing. Um, do you? Would you be up for playing more roles like that? Well, I have played uh, roles. You know, I played. Uh, a lot of people haven't seen these movies, but I mean, I did a lot of. Uh, Movies uh, for these net these uh, cable yes, yes. Uh, networks, yep. things like that. I played uh, one character I really like. Mm -hmm. he, w he went to the electric chair and and survived. Yep. And uh, he was a serial killer. Yes. And uh, I played another one that like a cruel husband and. Um, there's, there's been a few bad characters. You have like a great range of acting skill that I think is one of my favorite things about you as an actor. Put you in a role you adopt so wonderfully that we can just see you just like perform. And I think that's like one of the greatest skills that you have is your versatility. Is there a role or a type of, of role that you haven't had that you would like to? Um, well, I've always wanted to play like a, a southern preacher. Okay. Kind of character, you know. But, um, I, they're not doing a lot of that. Somebody write that. Somebody write that like, right now. Like we can no, we'll figure uh, it out. Yeah, like a like a television evangelist or something. Well, like that, that would be brilliant. I would have been. I would, okay, I would watch that. Okay. You yeah. know, what, I'm gonna write that for you. I got. It. That's what we'll do. That's what we'll do. Um, just a couple more questions. Going back to cousin Eddie. Um, obviously, you're you're acting alongside some some wonderful castmates, comedic legends, and Chevy. Um, What's it like to try to build a family with people that you have to, you know, pop in and out in terms of different movies? And and when you get back together, is it always like an immediate return to that energy, or do you guys kind of have to fill your way through a little bit, um, and, or do you guys just kind of click naturally like a family? Well, it's uh, it's it, we clicked um, when we did um, the um, started Christmas vacation. We start out. <clears throat> Excuse me. You start out with a um, a read through. Of course, you sit around the table and read the script, right? And um, you discuss it. You go in for a rewrite or something after the read through. How however that goes. So, but when you're doing these read throughs, <clears throat> you get a um, you re, re familiarize yourself with the characters and with what everybody else their characters. So it becomes um, like put on you know. The old riding the bicycle uh, thing, but uh, uh, it uh, it's it, you know, with these guys, you know, Beverly and Chevy, and, and you know, they're all so wonderful. Love it. And um, I've done another movie with uh, Beverly. We did a movie, uh, Streetcar Named Desire. Yes. Um, uh, the, uh, the um, television, I mean, but. Uh, 
we, um, we we worked in that together. So that was kind of weird, you know, because we had just done these characters in this vacation movie, right. and then like two years later, we're doing these other like heavy dramatic uh, characters. And uh, so you know you, but you know you adapt. I love it. I love it. Uh, one of my last uh, things I want to bring up is the movie Kingpin. Uh, yeah. 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 I love that movie. I love that So good. I had so much fun making that movie. <laughs> when was the last time you went bowling? Uh, that movie. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, we gotta change that. We gotta change that. Uh, was that something that you liked to do before? AMC. <laughs> did you did you bowl before? Were you a uh... well? I'd been bowling. You know, right. I, I used to go bowling as a kid. It was kind of the babysitter, you know, for gotcha. you know, to drop you off at the bowling alley and you'd stay there for about three hours. <laughs> it's a smart move. I like it. I like it. Yeah, so. I like it. Can but you... I actually took lessons for <laughs> okay bowling lessons. Right. You know, and I didn't know that there was such a thing, but there are, there are, and uh, learned some of the. The tricks of the trade. Can you can you do the, the spin? The, I was doing the spin. Come yeah, on, I was, what? Yeah, I was. I got that down uh, pretty well, but um, you know, I just never. It, 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 I don't know. My body just doesn't it's adapt. The bowler's body. Yeah. Okay. All right. That's fair. Isn't that fun? <laughs> yeah, I believed you. Like I was like, oh no, this guy. He bowls. He bowls. Uh, was Woody a good bowler? Woody is a damn good ball. Is he it's really? Bill Murray. Now, yeah, you told me a story about the Bill Murray stuff, about the, the last bowls at the end. Those, that was not movie magic? That was actually Bill bowling? Yeah, well, some of it, you know, you gotta cut. The okay, all right, all right. I just need to know, like. like ball going in. Yeah. The, but, uh, no, Billy was a really good. Wow. He was a really good bowler, and he was doing all of his own, his own bowling there. So. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. He's, a, he's an authentic guy. I like it. I like it. Maybe after this, then we can go. We'll go bowling. Me and you. Okay. We'll go. Yeah. We'll go roll a couple of frames. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Y'all get like me. Uh, Denver, do me a favor. Make some noise. Show all the love. Go upstairs. We're coming out. Okay, the back of team at his table right now, but he's got photo ops at 120, so make sure you guys sign on up for those, all right? Thank you guys so much. See you soon.